Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce what are the different logic families we have in the digital integrated circuits. So, what do you mean by logic family? What do you mean by logic family? As we are having family, as a human being, as we are having families, here in digital logic circuits also, they are having different different logic families. Okay. So, many logic families are developed so far many logic families have been developed have been developed so far so they are they are first one resistor transistor logic it is the first first logic family resistor transistor logic and second one is di direct coupled transistor logic direct coupled transistor logic direct coupled transistor logic so name clearly tells that in the first case we are using resistors and transistors to build the logic circuits and in the second case we are using transistors and resistors only but here two transistors if there are any two transistors are connected one after another then there is a direct coupling provided between the output of first transistor to the input of the second transistor there is no any coupling element that is the meaning of direct coupled and third one is diode transistor logic diode transistor logic diode transistor logic DTL high threshold logic high threshold logic HTL high threshold logic and next family is TTL TTL we know very well which is most commonly used family logic family transistor transistor logic transistor transistor logic and next one ECL emitter coupled emitter coupled logic emitter coupled logic ECL and integrated injection logic integrated injection logic we can say it is IIL ok and semiconductor uh, metal oxide semiconductor logic MOS metal oxide semiconductor logic metal oxide semiconductor logic and then the last one complementary metal oxide semiconductor logic complementary complementary metal oxide semiconductor logic ok so these are the different different types of logic families we generally have in any digital logic circuit but the main thing is here if you see resistor transistor logic and direct couple transistor logic and diode transistor logic and as well as high threshold logic families these four logic families are outdated the log four logic families are obsolete or outdated we, we are not generally using now nowadays we are not even going for this particular four different styles of logic families okay generally we may go for either TTL ECL or MOS technology CMOS technology okay so the first four first four 
logic families are obsolete okay they are outdated we are not using they are not currently in use now okay so the logic families logic families like ttl ecl iil mos and cmos are currently in use are currently in use now we are using them generally so the basic function of any type of gate is always the same regardless of the circuit technology the circuit technology used whatever may be the technology we are using whether it is a ttl ecl or iil or any type of logic circuit logic family the ultimate solution is to design a standard logic gate okay so that the outcome is same whatever the technology you are using the outcome is same irrespective of the type of the logic family you are choosing okay so the ttl and cmos are suitable for ssi and msi okay here let us see which technology is suitable for which type of integrated technology so the ttl transistor transistor logic and cmos are suitable are suitable for ssi and msi ssi and msi small scale integration and medium scale integration and similarly the mos and cmos are particularly suitable for lsi similarly mos and cmos are particularly suitable for lsi large scale integration okay so in large scale integration we generally go for mos and cmos the iil is mainly suitable for iil logic family iil logic family is mainly suitable for vlsi vlsi and ULSI, very large scale integration and ultra large scale integration. The ECL is mainly used for super fast computers because among all these ECL technology is the fastest logic family. Okay, ECL is used mainly for super fast. computers mainly we are using this ecl logic family for super fast computers because ecl is the fastest logic family compared to the all other families so the logic families are currently in use now we are going to compare all these logic families which are currently in use in terms of commonly specification parameters commonly used specification parameters now comparison chart comparison of all these logic families see the first uh, i am drawing a table where you are having the first one is logic family the first column is logic family and here it is propagation delay propagation delay propagation delay is measured in terms of nanoseconds and power dissipation power dissipation per gate power dissipation per gate it is measured in terms of milliwatts it is measured in terms of milliwatts and next one noise margin noise margin 
noise margin is given as V also. And next one fan in, fan out, and the last one is cost. Okay, these are the different performance metrics you are going to see for your logic families, various logic families you have. So the first logic family, obsolete terms, leave them. Okay, remaining logic family is propagation delay, power dissipation, noise margin, fan in and fan out. I think almost all the parameters we have covered. Now, first one is TTL. TTL logic family. Propagation delay time is 9 nanoseconds and power dissipation for this one TTL logic family is 10 milliwatts and noise margin is 0 0.4 volts and fan in means 8, fan out is 10 and the cost is also low for this TTL logic family. And similarly, emitter coupled logic family has propagation delay of 1 nanosecond and power dissipation is 50 milliwatts. So what is the meaning of this one? See, delay is only just 1 nanosecond whereas the TTL is having 9 nanoseconds. But when compared to the propagation, uh, sorry, power dissipation, so power dissipation per gate is very high in ECL when compared to the TTL. Power dissipation is high but it is fastest logic families among the remaining because delay is very less. Delay only just 1 nanosecond. And here it is 0 0.25, noise margin is 0 0.25, 5 and it is again 10. High, cost is also high. So whichever is high that we can treat it as a low, uh, that we can treat it as a drawback. So pro power dissipation is a drawback, okay, and the cost is also another drawback. Coming to mass logic family, propagation delay is 50 nanoseconds, power dissipation is 0 0.1 milliwatts, power dissipation is 0 0.1 milliwatts and 1.5 volts of noise margin and there is no fan in for this one but the fan out is 10 and it is low and another one CMOS logic family the propagation delay is less than 50 nanoseconds and it is very low 0 0.01 power dissipation is also very low and noise margin is about 5 it is 10 and it is 50 Fan out is very high, noise margin is also somewhat high compared to the remaining values and the propagation delay is less than 50 which is slow, it is nothing but delay is more compared to the TTL logic families and power dissipation that is about 0 0.01 milliwatts. Okay. What about the cost? Cost is also low. CMOS is low cost. And the last technology, last logic family is IIL, Integrated Injected Logic Family. So it is one, propagation delay is one, and power dissipation is 0 0.1 milliwatts, and it is 0 0.35 volts. This is 5, fan is 5, and it is 8. It is very low. So cost is also very low. So which is the best suited logic family among all these IIL and CMOS logic family. Suppose if you are asked to go with the fastest logic family then this ECL is preferred. Okay, Depending upon the type of situation whether you need a fastest device or it may be a low power device. According to that we will choose either ECL or CMOS. Okay, So this is the comparison table in the logic families. Thank you.